welcome to today's deck showcase. Tonight's deck is going to be a Highlander Zoo Vorlock. Let's show this beast, shall we? The deck is called How Do I Exist purely because it. How does this exist? So you can see there is some cards that are not in the normal lists. I actually replaced History Buff and the Elemental Guy. I think I replaced it with Jar Dealer and I think I put another Soul Buster because I think these two cards are very fitting into this deck. So, I just fitted these two in to make them better. And let's go on to the gameplay of this deck. The first game is going to be against Warrior. And I think I'm going to speed up this section because it's going to be pretty boring.
And the second game is against Druid. Probably because Druid, let's speed up this goddamn game. <laughs> game is against Hunter and I'm going to be commentating over this entire game. So basically the mulligan is whatever. Usually you want to get one drops and sometimes like against Hunters you want to get the self-harm package. As you can see I got a really really bad hand but I top deck a great card that I need. Which is a one drop. The Nether Soul Buster is very good in this deck. I think it's better than History Buff or the Elemental Drawing gu Guy, even if he gives you the. How do you call it? Even if he gives you Sephiroth all the time, 
I don't think it's good tempo, in my opinion. So I think another solo buster is way better, and I stand by that Jar Dealer is a great card. Jar Dealer is an insane card. And I will not back down from that. Because I really like Jar Dealer. And now I will just, I think, wait to play the Spirit Bomb. As you can see, the Universal Treasure is very, very good in this deck. And, like, it activates. Nedra Soul Buster, the Vulture. And that's just great. That's great. Now this guy has played two Secrets. And... Oh my god. That's Freezing Trap, okay. He probably played a Red Trap. But of course I'm going to play the Vulture and get some insane value. Now the boards tend to go crazy sometimes, but that's not a big issue. The Hyena Alpha counts down. And now it's time for an insane turn with Spirit Bomb. I think... Yeah, that was a... I'm not misplaying. Maybe. Let's see what I play. Heavy thinking intensifies. Okay. I could play three cards. Or do something else. Now, why didn't I play the knife juggler? I frankly do not know. Yeah, I think I just realized, Jesus Christ, I didn't play the knife juggler. But, this, this was great. Yeah, I played the Knife Juggler now, I could have had two random damage. And now, 8-5 for 3 mana, that's insane, and I think this is a win. Like, this deck is very good. Let's go on to the conclusion of this deck. The main question is, is this deck worth running with Zephyrus over extra copies of Evil Recruiters, Evil Geniuses and the other stuff? In my opinion, yes, totally. Zephyrus is an incredibly powerful card that I misrated badly, badly. So that is why I think... This deck is one of the best decks out there right now. It beats the Murloc decks, which is most of the time, if they, like, not insane high roll. But most of the time it beats these decks, which is very good because they are, like, the tier 1 decks now. It struggles against Control Warriors sometimes. I think it's got a pretty worse win rate, but... I managed to win quite a few times against Control Warrior. So, it really depends on all your luck. So, this deck, I recommend you craft this. Especially if you have Zephyrus. Because this deck is pretty cheap, in my opinion. And this is going to be better out.